Hey y'all, I can't even tell if I'm like blurry or not. I don't have my glasses on. I should probably be wearing my glasses. But it's another day during our shelter in place orders here in Michigan. And I really, I wanna go outside. I'm looking out my window. I'm looking at where the vineyard is not growing at this moment and there's so much refuse i have to pick up there people have been dropping trash in front of the house and i need to get out there and pick that up ah oh, but um it's a low priority yes it's a low priority so many beautiful things have been happening so i finished that book yesterday i finished rebel buddha by i believe it's uh Zan La, no, uh, Zan Chen, Pun Lap is the name of the author, I believe, and apologies. And I'm about to pick up Russell Brand's book on recovery just to see what Russell Brand has to say about recovery. And I posted something to my Facebook about Russell Brand talking people through the 12 steps. So that should be interesting. Oh, I am just learning how to let go. Um, I was having a conversation with my, well, first of all, I spoke to the editor who is finished editing the book. And so they're going to send it back. And it was really funny because they were talking about some of the characters in the book. And um, there's a particular character in the book that, uh, you know, they just, they just let me know that they hated that person. And it was like, wow, wow, such strong feelings. But I guess that's the what I want from people is I want people to read the book and have really strong reactions to what's happening in the story, especially um, in terms of um, the protagonist character who is basically me. But I've not, I'm not going to say I've embellished anything, but I'm trying to fold in the kind of magical quality of my own imagination so that um, as people are reading the book, they're experiencing it as I experience life, which is um, through the lens of magic. Um, I like, I, there's magic in, in, in almost everything that I do, or at least the way I imagine things. So I hope that that comes through in the book. Um, I started reading, so I put down the rebel buddha and immediately picked up another book called propaganda which is like um and i'll put some information about propaganda it's blowing me away because it's all about how propaganda was used by the united states and it started in terms of the war and getting people to have certain belief structures in place so that the war and we're talking about like world war one um so that the war would go particular way that people would you know be able to and one of the things that um that was done with propaganda propaganda and very well was that they made propaganda a dirty word using propaganda which was very effective and then propaganda was picked up by you know it was a tool of politics but propaganda was picked up by the world of marketing and the world of business and the world of business took propaganda and ran with it and we have what we basically we have a society that's basically controlled by corporations i didn't say that out loud anyway so that's how i'm feeling about that but um i don't want to be too political i want to leave you all with something beautiful and hopeful is that um i've been doing every day i've been doing um these meditations from the chopra center and they're about hope um, they're about hope and just like repeatedly over and over again, the idea that without a sense of hope, um, there's not much one can do with their life, but that hope is a muscle. You can't just like wait for hope to show up. You have to like practice it. You have to practice hope y'all. So get busy. y'all. <laughs> like I went running four miles yesterday. Y'all need to every day, every day, um, one great channel to hope is gratitude. So every day what you could do, and you can even do it down in the, you know, in the comment section below here, is you can just write down three things that you are grateful for today. And I am sure 
that you will find something that you can be grateful for. And that is a way that you can exercise your own sense of hope. So that's going to be the message for today is how to get out there and do those gymnastics so that you can build on your hope. All right. Love to y'all. Peace out.